Hey, what's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports, giving you a quick little update. What happened between Clarissa Shields and uh, the Entourage? And, and um, wow, man, it's just, just crazy with Armana um, Habazin and her trainer, Bashir Ali. Um, before we get into it, look, see the uh, rate down below? See that rate there? Donate. Hold on, stay here. Donate with boxing socials that means dollar sign boxing socials that's my cash app send your boy some love by sending him some money through cash app or my paypal link is down below however you want to donate hook your boy up um wow where do we start at so let me give you a little backstory so um Cla clarissa shields was fighting um i said the girl's name again ivana habazin okay she was in Clarissa's hometown over there in Flint, Michigan, right? So, um, and I think Ivana, she's moving up in weight. She's from Croatia or something like that. Um, but listen, this this was supposed to be a good fight. Um, one that Clarissa should win. And there's a trainer that's been around for a long time, long time named um, Bashir Ali. I think he's like 70, 71 years old. Been around with Emmanuel Stewart. A lot of other greats and all that. Um, so, unfortunately, Clarissa Shields, and um, I'm going to play some of the video. You see her over there. I'm going to play some of the video what she said. She went live about this. So, from video clips that we saw earlier, it was they're at the weigh-ins. You know, Smack is always talked that weigh-in sometimes. And I guess Clarissa's sister, I don't know if this is her biological sister or she just calls her sister. I think it's biological sister. You know, Clarissa said, hey, you know, you know, my sister, she's a stud and this and that. And, you know, I had to tell her to calm down, blah, blah, blah. But, um, but Cher Ali at the same time was, I don't know what started it, but they were talking smack to each other. And uh, but Cher Ali was talking Pretty bad and reckless talking about how he would, you know, knock her out and do this and that to her. And I was like, man, you know, even though she's a stud, man, you still don't, you know, talk about. Come on, first of all, you're 70-something years old, man. You don't want to talk about knocking out a female, even if she, you know, goes the other way. That's just, you know. But I understand temper's flair and this and that. But And, and Clarissa and is Clarissa getting so much hate right now on social media. Uh, Clarissa didn't throw the punch. Clarissa didn't start a fight. Clarissa didn't end the fight. And actually, Clarissa was trying to make peace. Clarissa was telling her sister, you know, chill out, chill out, relax, you know. And as the, they were separating them and Clarissa's sister was going the other way, Bashir was still kind of running his mouth. And I'm like, man, Bashir, you already said what you had to say. You ever had people, man, you know, after they make the point, they say what they want to say. It's like, okay, cool, you know, whatever. But they just keep going on and on and on and on and on. I am, and then Bashir wanted to go sit down, and some brother came and talked to him. And I'm thinking, you know, okay, it's done. It's over with now. Oh, man. And all we know, from that point, the video stopped. Uh, next thing you know, we see Bashir laid out in a pool of blood. And everybody's like, oh, snap. And his... uh. His fighter, Ivana, she's over there grabbing him. And we see some some dude in the back. It was a black dude. I can tell that much. And I'm assuming he's the one that probably hit him because you see him running out the door. And everybody's trying to figure out, you know, who is this guy and, and where did he come from? Now I'm just speculating. I have zero evidence, zero evidence of this. I'm just strictly speculating. It looks like Clarissa's sister left to head out. But now I'm speculating, did she go get a cousin, a friend, a family? This dude's talking reckless to me. He said he's going to knock me out, blah, blah, blah. And then old boy came in. And according to everybody that saw it, said the dude came in and he sucker punched. Um... Uh, Bashir Ali. And I remember Bashir like 70, 71 years old. He's an old man. And they see, you know, you know, he's on the ground. He's bleeding. 
and he gave him some updates saying, hey, you know, you know, I was sucker punched and I got broken bones in my face, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Ivana, his fighter, she just over there holding him in a pool of blood and this and that. And, and you know, she don't have, a, you know, a trainer to, you know, that's the head trainer, you know, the one that was getting ready for the fight. And, you know, now he's having emergency surgery, so he's not going to be able to train her in the corner tomorrow. I mean, they don't wait in and everything. And, you know, she's distraught and she's like, man, you know, I can't, I can't do this. Which is understandable. I, I understand. So, I can't pick sides here because Bashir Ali, he instigated more than what I think he needed to do, right? Um, but then I don't condone whoever they brought in that the sucker punch him either. And I understand Ivana, she's from, you know, Croatia. Her head trainer just got knocked out. She's distraught and all that. So I'm going to be honest. The part I don't like was Clarissa went on live, which is fine because she wants to tell her side of the story. What I don't like, it, I'll put it like this. She kind of is instigating about, you know, what you call, Ivana, you call yourself no excuses. You know, just fly another trainer in. And Clarissa, you can't just say that, just fly another trainer in. You got your head trainer, this and that, and he's hurt. You're distraught. And listen, you know her nickname, No Excuses, has nothing to do with situations like that, you know. So I was kind of disappointed in Clarissa for, you know, just telling the man, just flying another trainer. You call yourself No Excuses, let's fight. You know, I didn't do it. But... You got to look at the same way. Um, I don't know. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to play the video and, and let y'all see it. You know, let me hit play. Her name is Ivana No Excuses, so hopefully we don't, we don't have none. I'm quite sure she has another coach who she can fly in, and nothing happened to her. Um, something happened to her coach, sadly. But other than that, um, I don't know. It's just so crazy how the rules work, but... She don't even have to make weight now. From the situation that happened and the stress and everything, I understand them giving her the leeway and saying like, "Oh, she got she got seven pounds to be whatever she want to be." That's that's cool with me because at the same time, I'm sorry about what happened. And if that's, I mean, yeah, it's stressful. But what happened to my coach? Hell, I would have said f the way ins too. Um, her coach is being real, real disrespectful, but that. But that still don't make it all right to whatever happened. My sister, as y'all can see in the video, she's a stud, but she's gay. And he just was like doing this to her face. And he was like, bitch, I'll show you that you're a man. And he kept saying it over and over again. Like when I walked off, he was still saying it to her. I didn't tell nobody in my, uh, who was with me to do anything. Like I said, it wasn't nobody from my team. I rolled with all, I rolled with all females except for my boyfriend. But when he was sitting there calling my sister all those names, all I did was look at him and I said, sir, this ain't the place to be doing that. Because one, I don't, I can't control nobody but my, but myself. And after that, I got off the scale, I stepped off and I went in the bathroom. So, and I even told my sister like, sit your, sit your ass down. Sit down, quit arguing with him. First of all, look, quit thinking y'all attorneys on here. I can say whatever the fuck I want to say. Look, this one of the girls who was with me, is she knocking people out? Don't. I can't. I mean, can you? <laughs> I, I don't think I can knock out a man. Right. I think I like I said, so I'm a, so I'm gonna get on here and, and and just let it be known that I don't condone that kind of stuff, and I don't and I don't tell nobody to to, to do that kind of crap. And like I said, I roll with all females. The toughest bitch on my squad is me. Period. But I wish him a speedy recovery. I hope that Ivana is in good spirits. And I hope that, you know, like she said, no excuses, she come to the fight. Ain't no way in hell I want to get this fight up. And even for her, just, uh, just for what happened to her coach, she should be mad as hell and she should be ready to fight. Now, that's not being fair, Clarissa. I mean, that's, that's a distraught thing to see your head trainer knocked out, bleeding. That was sucker punch. Now... I believe you when you say, hey, it wasn't me. It wasn't nobody part of my entourage. But, man, I'm sure somebody, 
somebody in that entourage got some, because you're in your hometown. Somebody got somebody to come in and hit him. I don't believe you gave the order. I don't believe you have anything to do with it. And I understand when you're saying I can't control nobody but my entourage. But anyway, the latest news, let me give you this. The latest news is as they caught the suspect. They haven't identified his name yet. Uh, but believe you me, they will. And uh, whoever this guy is, I'm pretty sure he's going to be doing some jail time. Um, it's unfortunate. The fight is canceled. I hope something like this never happens again. Um, definitely, I think the guy that got sucker punched, uh, Bashir Ali, he did escalate it, made it more than it needed to be. Um, but y'all can't blame Clarissa Shields for what happened. It's not her fault. Um, the entourage she brought with her, I don't think it was their fault to a degree. But like I said, this is speculation, but I do believe somebody in her entourage went and got somebody to brought him in to handle Bashir Ali. It's sad, man. It's, you know, you got guys knocking out 71-year-old mans, man. It's, it's sad. But it is what it is. Y'all leave your thoughts, comments down below, and let me know what you think. Until next time, this is Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports. We signing out.